Softplan allows for the model to be designed using objects uh, that are intelligent in that they know what their heights are, their, their lengths, uh, allowing you to easily modify them. This information is used then to extract into three-dimensional models for elevation purposes, cross-sections, etc. In addition to this, bill of materials can then be calculated for constructing the model, for estimating it, etc. And on top of this uh, is the ability to go through individual objects and modify the R value for them. This R value can then in turn be used to be exported into ResCheck. ResCheck is a computer program that is designed to demonstrate compliance with the thermal shell requirements of various state building codes. And it allows for trade-offs to be made between all envelope components such as walls, windows, and slabs. And even trade-offs for higher than minimum heating and cooling equipment. A modification can be done by simply editing the wall. Here at the bottom of the dialog, R values for both the continuous and cavity fields can be input, uh, the defaults for each being displayed. In this case, this wall has been defined with a cavity, of, uh, the insulation placed between the studs, an R value of 20, and the continuous of 5. By selecting OK, the openings can then be modified and a view taken there of what the U value is going to be for the window. When the window is right clicked and edit selected from the quick selection dialog, the selections tab can be uh, selected on this window and here a U value of 0.43 is displayed for the individual window. Going to the main floor tab, it can be seen that by selecting the mode selector and modifying the slab under the selections tab, the continuous R value is displayed here and obviously can be modified to suit and the same could be done for ceilings and other building components that make up the envelope. One of the pieces of information that will need to be input prior to exporting it out of soft plan uh, that will be used as part of the calculation involves where the model is being built in terms of city and state and also the direction of the north. By selecting model and project information the state of Tennessee can be input and in this case a city of say Brentwood in Williamson County. Selecting OK to this will then allow us to, from the mode selector, select the site mode. Here it can be seen by the arrow that north is pointing towards the top of the screen. Therefore, our south side will be the front side of the building. Once again, this will play into the res check calculation. So this information being input here is valuable now. To export the model as it stands with all of the default information in place, simply select File, Export, ResCheck Script. Here the code can be selected from the list of available codes that are there. The state and city is pulled from the building project information. And under the building characteristics, a one family detached will suit our needs. Select OK. At this point the model can then be named under the file name Bungalow. And save. From the taskbar the ResCheck program can be opened and through file open, the bungalow res check file can now be imported. From the project we can see that the compliance already fails at this point. Selecting the envelope tab, the list of components can now be scrolled through and their individual information and R value modified. Lines 43 and 44 call off for the individual slabs and in this case if slab number 1 is selected for modification 
a depth of insulation can now be modified as by default right now it is set to zero. This is set to zero at this stage because insulation is not something that is drawn and so by modifying and setting this one value to two feet the compliance now lists the model, the envelope in question as passing. This information is readily available on all models within SoftPlan and as can be seen the transfer of information from SoftPlan to ResCheck is fairly seamless.